<laughs> okay, so look, we know the end of October. I cannot believe that today is October 20th. Like, October has flown by. It's getting closer. Mm. It I is know, almost mm. the end of the year. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. But you know what? Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. Thanksgiving so, is? Yes. You know, so so look, look, you see it right here. The change of the seasons. National Weather Service has put out their forecast when it comes to December through February. Adam, you actually were working on yes. this story, right. breaking down what we can see. El Nino, explain to people if you're not Huge. familiar, what is El Nino? It's just the above average sea surface temperatures in the equatorial Pacific. Okay. So they scientists discovered that what's going on there along the equator um, with the ocean temperatures uh, dictates how the jet streams move and, and interact, and even this far north. I was going to say, there were thousands of miles away, right. and we could still whistle for the impact. Right. And so that, that's one of the, we call them teleconnections. Uh, it sounds like a, a mobile phone company. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. But, uh, and it's, there's other ones too um, that, that work across the Pacific or other parts of the world that you that we use to kind of help gauge what our climate is going to be like. It's a long-term forecast. Okay. Thing. What obviously what we do here in the next weather team, we focus on the next seven days. But if, if your specialty is three six months out That's and, and over a longer there. period, those teleconnections like. Enso or El Nino, um, or the Madden Julian oscillation is another one. The Arctic oscillation, uh, those really help with more climate and long range stuff. So we're still going to see snowstorms, but yeah, just it can affect like frequency and the the how cold and things correct. like that. This yeah. is a, a long term average from December through February. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the meteorological winter. Mm -hmm. uh, and so most of us are expecting a warmer than average winter. Mm -hmm. But again, as you mentioned, yeah. you're still gonna get spells of cold. You're yeah. still going to get snowstorms. Yeah. So snow lovers, don't let your guards down just yet. Don't be too <laughs> disappointed. But over that three month period, it is more likely that we will be drier than average. That doesn't okay. necessarily, like, Precipitation includes ice, it includes snow, it includes rain. So All it's, the it's above. The liquid equivalent is what they're forecasting is likely to be below what our winter average is. Okay, so I'm, I'm just thinking, for example, last year. Last year we had one of the snowiest winters on 90. record. 90.7, I think, oh, in the state. Mm. Which is just insane. Like but essentially, it, it should, in theory, in theory, it should come down. But we're still going to have quite a bit of snow. I mean, right, and snow. that's the thing. Like, if you compare any forecast to what we had last winter, it's easy to say it's a safe bet that <laughs> it's not gonna be that bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but if, what if it is? I, I would be very, I'd be shooting myself in the foot right now. Uh, but no, that's, that's not expected to be the case. So I guess the question is now, Shayla, what are we gonna do for you in the winter time? Hey. Winter activities, oh, hold on. <laughs> you brought them again. Hold on, yeah. hold on. She brought them again. Always. You the need to be ready for whatever we have. We guys. need to come up with a Shayla brand. <laughs> we will stay ready hand warmers. so we don't have to get ready. Stay ready. Yes. They stay on for Shayla. Yes. They'll stay on for you too. Still, yes. well, what did you, oh, when yes. did you activate them? Oh, just in the Five. last hour. Okay, yeah. They're, yep, yep, yep. They'll be neat. good for the next seven or eight. Seven or eight yep, hours. Yep, if you get We've cold got, out here doing the forecast in the studio. You got some friends, you got some friends over there who want to say hello. <laughs> oh, hi guys. Hi, how you doing? Yes, that's the nice thing about being downtown. We have new friends all the time. <laughs> new friends all the time.